Now, boys and girls, we're gonna talk about the two inch binder option. Some people prefer to have their first two periods in one binder, their second and third period in one binder, their fourth and fifth periods in one binder, and their special areas in one binder. So I'm gonna show you how to set those up because in middle school, organization is the key and you wanna keep all of your papers organized and your graded papers because loose papers in middle school equals poor grades. So you'll notice that I've labeled the outside of my binder and the, and the spine. On the inside, I have my divider tabs. Because it's two classes in one binder, I went ahead and I put an L in front of all the tabs for literature. So I have literature, bell work, and journal with some loose leaf paper. Literature notes go here with some loose leaf paper. Literature graded papers are going to get hole punched and put in my binder here, and my literature vocabulary work is going to go here. Then you'll notice that I put an E in front of all the papers that belong in for my English class. So I have E, Bell Work and Journal here with some paper. I have English Notes here with some paper. This is where my English graded papers are going to go. We're going to hole punch those and keep them here nice and safe. And then I have an E for my vocabulary because this is where my English vocabulary words are going to go, right here. So now you can see how to set up your binder. So if you're choosing the two inch binder option, you need to have eight dividers for your core subjects. So for literature and English, science and math, and religion and social studies. For your special area binder, you only need one set of dividers for your foreign language class. And that's how you set up your binders for middle school.